Hello and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In this video, we're going to talk about user agents in Scrapey. User agents are an essential topic that you absolutely need to know in order to keep your Scrapey bot safe and unbanned across the internet while scraping. Whenever you send a Scrapey request to a website for scraping purposes, there are many telltale signs within that request, within its request headers, and within its behavior that can give away the fact that it's actually a bot. It's an automated bot, and obviously websites don't like that, and they're going to try and ban you. And this is all automated on their side, obviously. They're going to notice unusual behavior, like really fast requests, or they're going to see something unusual in the request, and they'll ban you on that basis. User agents are one of those things that can easily give away your position as a bot. So how do we rectify this problem? Before that though, let me tell you exactly what a user agent is and also how to identify for yourself whether or whether or not your user agent is giving your position away as a bot. So I'm going to run this code over here. You don't need to pay much attention to this code. This is just from one of my previous videos where we scrape a website and download some data from it. Okay, that's not relevant. Let me run this code over here. And I've disabled some of the output. So only the relevant stuff is here. Here is the user agent. I'm printing out the response.request.headers over here in the parse function. This is something, uh, a header is basically sent with the request. You make a request to the website that you want to scrape and you send in some headers. These headers contain some valuable information. Um, I mean, this is something you have to send. And this header contains this. All right, this information, the website that you're going to. And then there's some stuff here about the connection, I think. Then there's the language. And then there's the user agent. And then there's the encoding as well. But we're going to focus on this part, the user agent. You can see over here that the user agent is shown to be scrapey. Now, obviously, this is telling everyone that you're using Scrapey, that you're using a scraping service. This is literally going to the website that you're scraping and it can see this. What the user agent is normally supposed to be is something like uh, a browser. It's like a browser like Mozilla or Chrome or Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge. And it's supposed to tell you what operating system you're on. It tells the website that you're connecting to what, uh, what kind of device is connecting. But over here, by default, Scrapey just, you know, sends this and th that clearly gives away your position. So what we're going to do in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do two things. One, manually change your user agent. And two, I'm going to teach you how to set up uh, by installing a library, how to set up rotating user agents. So every time you make a connection, every, every time you make a connection request, it's going to use a different user agent. Let's begin. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do is change the user agent manually. All right. Now, a very popular choice is to use the Google user agent. And let me show you how that's done. Let's just go somewhere over here near the top. So copy paste the user agent over here. Okay, this is the one for Google. And because it's Google, you know, all sites will be pretty open to accepting it. And there's pretty much no one who's going to have this I, this user agent blocked, right? Now, you can also change the settings for this over here in custom settings like this and just put quotes over here. And this will put it on a spider specific level, not all, across all spiders, all right? That can be helpful sometimes. Let's scrape this. Okay, let me just delete this file and let's run this code again. And then let's check the headers to see whether it worked or not. All right, there we go. See, now our user agent says Google bot. And well, now we've reduced the chances of us being detected by any firewall, okay? Because now we're showing up as the Google bot. That's pretty cool, right? Now let's take a look at one more thing. I'm gonna show you how we can uh, randomize our user agents. Cause obviously when scraping, you're gonna be scraping like uh, thousands of pages or something like that. And it's going to get pretty suspicious if you're using just one user agent the entire time. So it's a great idea to have a pool of user agents that you're constantly rotating between. All right. 
So there's a good library that automatically handles all of this for us. We just need to install it, add in a few lines here and there, and we're done. To install this library, call this command pip install scrapey fake user agent. Okay, install this library, then after you've done that, go to your settings.py file, come down to the downloader underscore middlewares. This might be commented out for you, so uncomment it, and then paste these four in here. All right, and I'll leave a link to my website uh, where all of this will be available. Okay, all of this code and stuff. So you can just copy paste it from there. All right, okay, so what's going on here? Basically, first we disabled the default user agent middleware, which Scrapey provides, and we disabled the retry middleware, and then we enabled the two middlewares which this library uses, because it's using a random user agent middleware that generates a new unique user agent for us each time. Let's try this out. I'm going to run this code, and now let's take a look. Oh wait, hold on. Let me remove this, okay? And let me remove this as well. Now let's run the code again, and we should get something completely different this time. Not the scrapey user agent, neither the Google agent. Okay, here we go. User agent, Mozilla, Windows, and uh, Chrome, Safari. This is a pretty long user agent, but it's obviously unique. Now, if I run this one more time, it's gonna give us something different. That's the great part about this library. Every time you parse a page, it's gonna be different. Let's see. Over here, user agent, Mozilla, Linux, this time. So as you can see, this is pretty great. For example, I'm only uh, scanning one page here, or actually, I think, if I turn this from follow is equal to true, it's gonna scrape the entire website. Again, that's not relevant. I want to show you something else that's interesting. Just wait a second for this. All right, here we go. Now, as you can see here, I've basically enabled the link following on my spider. So it's going to every page in this website that I'm scraping. And if I'm not wrong, it's generating a unique, yeah. It's generating a unique user agent each time. You can see over here that these are different. Even though the browser and this might be similar, uh, but this over here is gonna be different. This is Linux, this Linux, there might be a Macintosh here somewhere, maybe. But I think we get the point, right? Um, this is basically, ah, there we are, Macintosh. Okay, so that's basically the beauty of this library and we can use it to you know, mask our presence. But obviously this isn't enough. There's more we need to do and I'm gonna make several videos on this, uh, like on rotating proxies and other settings and stuff that you can modify in order to make your bot look more undetectable and more like an actual human being. So do watch those videos, okay? Subscribe to the channel. I'll leave all relevant links down in the description below. All right, but do subscribe to the channel to stay notified for new content. And if you have any good suggestions, then do leave them down in the comment section below. All right, see you guys in the next video.